Hotel Skyline Valley and uh, camp locations across this new brand new region right here and I actually been uh, exploring a bit on this on this new region and I found some really really nice looking camp spots and uh, we're gonna start with the first one which is located right here but it's uh, slightly to the west as you can see here the road is up there just follow up to this, this little mountain path and you can see this flat area right here this entire area is almost completely flat and what's really cool uh, with this lot is the view you can see the spectacular weather around you like imagine if you build like a huge glass wall here with a terrace outside sticking out of the wall uh, of, of the mountain and you will see this view it's amazing you also have the view uh, over the dark hollow manor which is right down uh, down there so it's a really really nice view right here there's also some some spots up there as well we're gonna take a look at that uh, really really soon but this is a completely flat area and uh, you can of course build here uh, like this you can see this entire area you can build you can also maybe use some of the mountainside as well to build different stories as you can see here you can like build walls and floors down here you can build walls and floors up here and you can have like a really 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 nice location for for your camp so you can build all the way into the forest here and uh anyway that was the first first s slot i picked this because it's it's so flat it's so easy to build here and uh, i'll of course try and build a a test base here but we got so many other locations to look at so uh Anyway, tell me in the comments what you think about these locations. Have you found anyone or any locations yourself? Please tell me down in the comments. We're going to check out the next cool location. And the next really cool camp location is an unmarked location right here on the, the map. It's really close to Camp Liberty. Just uh, go where exactly where I am on the map and you will eventually find this unmarked location. What's really cool about this location is that you can find wild melon blossoms here you can find this really cool scarecrow that's already here uh you have these flowers you also have tato plants and you also have this little shack you can build on so uh, as you see here i placed my camp right there and uh, what's really cool is that you can get a windmill in your base look at that that's already pre-built uh, which is quite nice we can just build a base all around here you already have this fence you can continue building on if you have like this fence um, Camp items, you can just place down more fences if you want. Let's see if we can place this. Uh, it's a bit high, but if... I mean, the pro builders will probably be able to snap these really, really nice. But as you can see, I can just continue my fence around this base. And uh, yeah, which is really cool. I like this location a lot. It's the middle of the forest. It looks peaceful. I haven't seen any enemies close by. Well, there's a fox, but <laughs> they're not really a threat. So a really, really, a really nice location in the middle of the forest. And you also have pre-built items already in your base, which you can continue on. So that was location number two. Let's go over to location number three. So the next location was just pure luck. Because I was on my way to actually camp location number three. But I stumbled across this unmarked location as well, which is not really far away from uh, the other location I found, which is over here. If you go directly south and you find, well, the exact location where I am, you will find this place. Quite interesting, because there are a few assets here already. You have, like, <laughs> you can also... You can also loot a lot of these things. Bees diary page, really interesting. Maybe that's, uh, like, a small easter egg. You have, like, this, this cool stairway up to your base. Um, you have like this mountainside. I think there could can be an enemy spawning up here So I, you might have to have some some uh, firepower on your base to defend it But anyway, it's still a really nice location with a lot of ass assets So some really good camp builders can make this place look absolutely beautiful You have like this benches and one of the cool things is that you can pose with mole uh, Mow the mole photo board so you can you like have guests over and you can do this and you don't have to build it yourself so it's a really 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 nice location and you can also build across this entire area so you can use these fences here uh you can maybe build like a small house on the side and have it like a small shop inside here maybe or on the rocks it's kind of like this location i might try and build here actually build a trading post and uh when i found this area there was like set settlers here i can't find them right now maybe because i placed my camp here because i had to do the fast notch uh, event, but a really cool nice location that that's now Camp location number three. So let's go over to camp location number four 
All right, so the fourth location has something special about it. I don't know if it will stay there, but for me, it did. So uh, you will eventually know what this is, but there's also an unmarked location. This was my third location before I found the location earlier. But for now, this is the fourth camp location on the map. It's located right here, it's directly south of Big Meadows Gas Well. And there's an abandoned house in the middle of the forest. You can't really enter it, it's closed. Uh, but there's one thing that's really cool about this is that there is a dog in this location. It's a dog here, so if you build your base here, I think the dog will stay. Because I tried to place my camp, I relogged, joined another server, the dog will still here. So hopefully it will be there for you as well. That's the only reason I really want to maybe test this out as my new base. You can have like this, this little hut in the center of your base and build other huts around this. Like maybe a small community and the dog will hopefully stay here. So you will have your own dog pet in your base, which is amazing. So anyway, if you guys have tried to build here and the dog is gone uh, somehow, so please tell me down in the comments. But I tried to relog re the servers and the dog was still here even though my camp was was placed down at this location. So this is why this is number four, because you can have your own dog in your base, which is amazing. And it's also quite a flat area and it's uh, also in the forest. So it's a really, really nice location to build, build your camp at. Anyway, that was location number four. Let's go over to location number five. And the fifth and last location for this video will be probably the best location and it's going to be really, really popular, uh, I guess. It's, it's a, one of the nicest locations in the game, by my opinion, and it's located right here. The three ponds you can build actually here. As you can see, there's a guy here that's probably going to maybe build his base right there. <laughs> As you can see, he's looking at my base thing. This is one of the locations that it's yeah, like I said, probably the best location in the game. And uh, you can see the view is fantastic. And also you have like a, a your own waterfall. Um, but you can build actually here. You can choose between two waterfalls. This one is, well, my favorite. And you also can build over here as well, which has a smaller waterfall, but a bigger pond. As you see right here, you can build here as well. You have a small waterfall right there and you can build in this entire area and you also have some enemies uh, spawning up there so you have like today it, it was a wendigo and yesterday it was like ants so you have like enemies you can kill up there so uh, if you're gonna build base here uh, be prepared for uh, to add some some protection to your base but you have two locations to build this one and if you want a waterfall or this one i'm choosing over here which has a bigger waterfall and uh, i'm gonna start building right now after this video i'm gonna use that as a thumbnail of course and you will see in the thumbnail how my base is gonna look like so this is going to be a really really popular uh, location to build on because you have water you have waterfall you have amazing view uh, over basically the entire entire region it's amazing it's absolutely perfect location to build a base but anyway i'm gonna start building that was my five locations for this video i will of course explore more of the new region and see if i can find uh, other spots if I do I will make a video of course and show you guys the locations But anyway, don't forget to drop a like on the video Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next Fallout 76 video. Take it out and good. Bye